when I turn my MacBook on, I'm getting this. And why it's doing that is a problem with the RAM and it needs to be reseated. So let's take care of that. All right, first things first, you're gonna want something where you can put uh, different types of screws in. So I'm just using this, it's just a leftover box and because you don't wanna lose your screws. And then second of all, you're gonna wanna discharge static electricity. Uh, if you can find something large metal in your home or even uh, put your hand on running water, uh, you wanna discharge because you don't wanna give a static electric shock to your MacBook. And then in order to open your computer, you can use a number one or number two Phillips screwdriver bit. I bought these, I think from value, it was like five bucks. And I'll open these up and I'm gonna use the smaller one and Phillips. This is a number zero, perfect. And then very quickly, I will take apart or take out all the screws. And you'll notice that some of them are longer than others. Keep track of the longer ones. And some of them were a little bit tougher to get out. So I ended up using this uh, 1.4, negative 1.4 uh, millimeter um, regular head uh, screwdriver. And these are nice because you can put pressure on the tip right here and spin it. And I used a um, cheaper set originally, which I'll show you. And this was like kind of like a dollar store set. And this is one of those classic examples of buying cheap doesn't actually save you money. And trying to do it with these, very hard to do. I couldn't get the screws out. So it's worth getting these Stanley screwdrivers. They seem to do a better job. All right, and now starting on the back end here, you can see it's loose on the side that has the uh, black uh, hinge on it. And I'm just gonna slowly pick this up and work my way around. And if it's not coming for whatever reason, it's probably because you still got a screw in there and you probably missed a screw. So just ever so gently, just prying this out. Cool. And now of course this is where you wanna be careful because this is essentially your computer right here and you don't wanna screw anything up. But we're just focusing on the Mac memory that you can see in the middle here. So let's get to the next steps. All right, and then you can see the, um, the RAM right here. There's two little hinges on the side of it. So I'm gonna pull these apart, and this is after touching a metal object and washing your hands, making sure that they're clean. And this, when you pull those, will come right up. All right, I'm gonna pull the first piece out. It's gonna go back in the same way that it just came out. You see that that one pops up nice and clean. I'm gonna pop this one out. And what's happening is, is that my computer is doing those beeps. When it's doing those three beeps, it's letting you know that you need to reseat uh, your RAM memory. I upgraded my RAM and after I did that, I ended up having some issues with this, so this is how I figured that out. So I'm just gonna take this and put it back in. Same way, it's got a little uh, kind of chip there or uh, uh, slot right there that you can see. So that lets you know that you're putting it in the right way and just put it in the same exact way that you took it out. one and you just put it at a little bit of an angle make sure that little insert is lining up and press down on the next one okay now I'm gonna put the uh, cover back on I'm also as you notice these are their fans right here you can see that there's been some dust that's accumulated on here so I'm gonna clean out this too and get the dust on before or off of this before I put this back on and then putting this back in Good way to start is putting this black edge here into the insert on the back here. And that lines up pretty easily. 
and then just simply putting all your screws back in. Moment of truth. Oh, what a beautiful thing. That's awesome. So, just need to reseat the RAM and hopefully that gets rid of that annoying little problem where you're getting the three blinks. It's just telling you to reseat your RAM on your computer. Maybe something got jiggled on it and came loose and that'll solve it for you. All right, thumbs up the video and in the uh, description, I'll provide resources to some of the uh, different uh, things you might need to do this on your computer. All right, good luck.